Hey Virgo Sun and Rising in Venus, this is what we got going on for January 12th, 2021. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more on my website, tarotbarbie.com. Let's get it, Virgos, coming in with the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles upright. So Virgos, you guys look like you're packing up your shit with the Four of Pentacles right there. You're saying, you know what, I don't have time for this shit. I'm too much indecisive. If you can't, it's either you're in bed decisive or they are, okay? It's like you during the full moon energy, you, some of you guys might not know what you guys are going to end up wanting to do. But it's just simply saying here that you're going to start packing up your shit. Four of Pentacles, um, the relationship that you guys might be in might be a false relationship with the Two of Cups in reverse. So there's going to be a complete ending coming in for you guys here. This is Mercury Retrograde Virgo. So you guys are not getting along all that well or you guys are just not seeing eye to eye with this person. But I do see that you guys are going to make a move and keep it moving here with the Knight of Pentacles. You're not willing to take any more action and make any more leap of faith in a direction that's not going to be bringing you the Two of Cups upright. You're not wasting your time anymore, Virgos. You're like, you know what? I've had enough. Like Some of you guys may have even literally said to yourselves, okay, well, you know what? If it doesn't get better in the next two weeks, I'm out of here. Literally. You know? And you're just, just not dealing with this shit anymore. Uh, you guys have grown up into uh, the person that you are today to say, you know what? I'm going to be... I'm not dating just for fun. I'm dating because I want to get married in the future. I want to have a family and, you know, and, and you're being realistic. There, there's nothing wrong with something of, for some, there's nothing wrong with anything when you have a, a visualization of what it is that you want for your future. You know, everybody has a goal of what their next three to five years is, you know, trying to look like, but this person seems to uh, not being able to get it together. So for that, there's going to be a complete ending. You're not going to wait for this person to come and bring you uh, the promises that they have promised you. It's a lot of empty promises, a lot of uh, um, deception here as well. And, you know, if they're not willing to take that leap of faith in your direction, then you don't have an, you don't have an, you don't have an issue not taking that leap of faith towards them. Um a lot of unraveling of the truth. Maybe there's going to be a confession that's going to be ending up that's coming out, Virgos. But you guys seem to, wow, Virgos, with the Queen of Pentacles, somebody here knows something that somebody else, that a lot of other people don't know. Queen of Pentacles, the Star Card, the Six of Swords, the Empress, the unraveling of the truth. You hold the Pentacle, meaning nobody else has it except for you. Meaning you're the only one that knows about it. And nobody else knows about it. You guys may end up being able to destroy someone's life just like that because y'all be knowing something about one specific person here. I'm pressing reverse. Mm, this person might be a very ignorant person here, Virgos, but at the end of the day, they must have thought that you don't know, but damn well, Virgos, you fucking know. Queen of Pentacles, you guys know exactly what's going on because you are a star. You know everything, Virgos. All right? <laughs> Eight of Swords. Seven of Swords. So, Virgos, you guys have a Capricorn, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who's very freaking toxic for you guys, right? This person is incredibly toxic, Virgos. Like, they are just so... Holy shit. How, maybe a karmic for you guys like this person is so deceptive and so deceitful on you guys there might be an accident coming in for this person at the end of the day i don't trust these energy at all virgos it's a lot of crazy energy coming in for you guys but more so for the cross watcher is what i'm picking up and for the ones who do bad and for the ones who don't treat you all that great so virgos eight of swords something bad is gonna end up happening seven because this person continues they go from the seven they thought that whatever it is that they're gonna be able to do they're gonna be able to get away with it but they cannot it's a failed attempt they're gonna be suffering really badly with the eight of swords maybe even needing surgery in the future or whatever the case is but this person needs to get it together immediately otherwise she will go sour for them real quick all right this person might be a stalker watching you uh every the, somebody here is watching all of your text messages as well virgos Somebody here might be having to do it through the internet, social media, whatever. But somebody here is looking at all of your text messages. Um, there's also somebody here also has some sort of surveillance where they can see everything. I don't know if you guys' his phone is hacked or what, Virgos, but somebody is able to see all your text message and everything that it is that you guys do. Um, but at the end of the day, you guys also have a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's rude and disrespectful. They'd be talking a whole lot of shit to you with the Two of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords. 
to the to the world card there if they're going to continue to keep this behavior up with you and disrespect you on this type of level you're not letting this person back into your life the world card that's a lot of stagnation somebody here does not want you to be successful with the nine of pentacles in reverse they want you to only have burden in your life they don't want you to be happy aries zeal aries leo sagittarius the fuck virgos you guys have been having a lot of fire energy in your chart in the not in your chart a lot of fire people Aries Leo Sagittarius around you guys who cannot be trusted. Remember back when we were always talking about Pisces, 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 yo, I'm telling you, fire energy, no Virgos, no, no, no Virgos, dude, too, too, on, on some fuck shit, real though. Uh, somebody here does not want you to be successful at all with the Nine of Pentacles, they want you to have burden, they don't want you to be living your best life, they don't want you to have nothing Virgos, you know, they, they really don't want you to have anything at the end of the day. Um, but that's because they are freaking hateful. They're jealous of you. Eight of, eight of wands in reverse. They're jealous and envious of you. They don't want you to be successful. They don't want you to have money. They don't want you to be successful. Virgos, please be careful. Or this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please be careful. Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, whoever this energy belongs to. This accident will lead into this right here. This is really bad energy. Bad, 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 bad energy here bad energy all right um if somebody here that keeps up their shit you know i don't want to say it like that ever goes but something bad is going to end up happening whether it's going to be to this person somebody that they know a death is going to be coming in for them that's the five of swords to the death card it's done like a complete ending like i'm sorry to say it goes my, my condolence just to you guys uh or cross watcher whoever you are uh, five of swords death card something here is going to end up happening somebody here is going to attempt to do something that could potentially be very much so dangerous and somebody will end up getting really really hurt at the bottom of the deck i got the nine of cups all right so your success may have been stagnated for a little bit of time here virgos but you guys may have a pisces or a gemini libra aquarius here who you guys, yeah, Virgos, your success may have been literally stagnated for such a long time. A lot of you guys may have been suffering with poverty, uh, bad health, whatever the case is. And that's because people continue to ill wish on you guys. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, uh, you'd be speaking up, you'd be speaking your truth, you'd be, you'd be taking action, doing what it is that you guys need to do uh, as well. And you guys are going to continue to fight. You guys have a lot of enemies who are coming after you guys at the same time. There might be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you guys want to talk to at the moment, but they're not speaking towards you. This person is either blocked you or this person has, uh, uh, has become very much so defensive with the seven of wand energy. And you guys not, are not talking to this person as of right now, okay? So you guys are just going to continue to focus on yourself and focus on your work. A lot of you guys might be businessmen, businesswomen, but you guys are very, very much so successful. Ooh, where goes you guys got money on the way? Look, look, look. Money's on the way. Six of Pentacles. Wow. You guys have a promotion coming towards you guys, sweeties. Yep. Your boss is going to be coming in, giving you a promotion here, Virgos, um, as well. You guys are businessmen, businesswomen, so start pick, so start seeing that your money's going to pick up a lot more faster here for you. You guys might have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who sees that you're very much so successful. This person here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Emperor, they may also be a businessman, businesswoman too. But some of you guys may also be more a little bit more successful than this person. But at the end of the day, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this energy. It's, it's beautiful. Not this one. This one. <laughs> this one is beautiful. Very beautiful. <laughs> Yay! That's money, Virgo. The saying, protect your money at all freaking costs, guy. <laughs> that's what that's saying. Three of Pentacles, you guys be hustling. You guys be working with your hands. You guys be working all by yourself at certain times. You guys are very much so successful businessmen, businesswomen. You guys are very powerful. You're stepping into your energy. Um, you, you have a huge amount of money coming towards you guys with the Ace of Pentacles. Your prosperity is here, Virgos. Uh, some of you guys may be getting a bonus at your workplace, a promotion here as well. Strength card, because people are seeing how, how powerful you are. They're seeing that you're able to stand in your power, stand in your... Uh, stay grounded taking control of life and and you know and you're not backing down anymore especially with the seven of wands and i just like yeah you want to come at me no problem you, you i don't have to say nothing to you but you're going to feel me at the end of the day and how i'm going to prosper in front of you is my, my money is going to flow my success is going to flow my abundance and prosperity is going to flow and there's nothing you can do in any way shape or form to mess with that energy because i am the seven of wands i am much more protected 
and I don't have to say nothing to you at the end of the day, but I'm going to keep on prospering whether you like it or not. And it might be very lonely at the top here, Virgos, but that's no big deal. So if you guys may be really heartbroken as well over a relationship that you guys thought that was going to end up working out really well for you guys, uh, regardless of there's going to be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here, Virgos, who has to maybe walk away for a moment just to reflect on the decisions that they end up having. Yeah, somebody's really in their feelings, um, but they're trying to manifest something here. <sighs> Whatever this person's trying to manifest, Virgos, it could potentially put them in the tower energy here. This could be jail. This could be misery, destruction, disaster. Some real bad shit's going to end up happening, Virgo. Somebody here is manifesting something that's not correct. They're not manifesting something right. Like They're using their power to bring destructive energy into somebody's life here. Okay, this energy needs to be careful. You guys got to be careful with that, with the way that you use your mind. <laughs> Three of Cups, okay? So, Virgos, you guys have a lot of happiness coming towards you guys. You guys are coming in as someone who's very beautiful, very happy, very emotionally fulfilled. You guys got cups all around you, meaning that you guys are very, very abundant as well. All right, very, very much so abundant. But some of you guys may ha have really gone through a lot of heartache, Virgos, a lot of betrayal, a lot of sadness and depression, a lot of losses and a lot of mourning here as well, right? And that's because you guys had to fight. You had to literally fight for the things that you guys want. And being the high priestess that you guys are or light workers, or whatever the case is, you guys are just simply going to be using your intuition. Somebody here is going to end up getting in someone's energy and this person's going to end up becoming like very, very sad. So someone, Virgos, you guys are going to end up becoming very sad, but then there's going to be like a, an empath somewhere around in the world who's going to be picking up on your energy. They're going to be feeling all the pain that you have felt. You could be anywhere in the world, you know. It don't really matter. An empath is an empath. You'll do, Whether you're close or far, you're going to feel their energy. <laughs> right? And that's the magical thing about an empath is that no matter where you are in the world, somebody will always be able to feel your energy, whether you like it or not. Two of Wands, Virgos. You guys are going towards your future at this point. You're looking into your future. Some of you guys might be still holding on to your past, but the universe is saying it's okay, sweetheart. Just take your, take that right foot forward, and then you know, once you guys start taking steps forward, there's no point of looking back anymore. Otherwise, you would never have to take that first step to go towards something that's brand new. You guys are going to end up getting a message here as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, <sighs> who you guys may have been uh, fat fighting with for a while. But this person, Cancer, they, this person loves you very much, Virgo. They just want to be with you, right? And they're going to do whatever it is that they need to do to be with you at this point. Do expect the message coming in from this person after they haven't talked to you for quite some time. Um, somebody here, Virgo, Sagittarius energy. Cancer energy there too. This person's coming in. They want to communicate and tell you how they feel about you as well. This person might act like a bachelor, so they come in very fast here too. But they, but you know, like they've been really stressed about you at the same time. There's going to be an Aries or Sagittarius who's going to be having a lot of sleepless nights with the Nine of Swords energy. Judgment is being called on this person for whatever it is that they've done. There's going to be a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's going to run back towards you um, and and try and make the connection work as well. There's going to be an Aries or Sagittarius who is not able to sleep at nighttime. Nine of Swords, Justice card, because they're receiving their karma. No sleep for the wicked. Whatever this Aries Leo Sagittarius has done to you, Maybe a workplace situation, whatever. They're not able to sleep, Virgos. They're being tormented at nighttime. They're not allowed to sleep. You're not allowed to sleep. Whatever it is that you do, you fire sign energy did, you Libra, you Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, whatever it is that you did to somebody, spirit is saying you're not allowed to sleep. No sleep for the wicked. All right? You did something wrong. It needs to be balanced out. You're being judged at this moment. That sword, that sword is down. They're saying we had enough of whatever it is that you're doing. We're calling it a day. You guys also have a Gemini Libra Aquarius who wants to come back in towards you guys. Uh, they 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 want to put the work in the connection. They are about they want to balance everything out because they're uh, they're definitely missing you a whole lot and they're missing how happy that they were with you as well, right? It may have been a spiritual connection, Virgos, maybe even a Virgo, uh, but you guys had a very beautiful connection with this person and. And maybe still do literally have a beautiful connection with this person, Virgos. But you guys may have to reflect. There might be a Virgo who's reflecting right now on how much they miss you. Uh, because they can't believe that they may have let you go. Especially with the lover's card. They're like, they find you so beautiful. They find you to be so happy. You bring like the, 
their child self out of them, which is very free Virgos without having to judge them at all. It just makes you guys become much more closer with each other, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Uh, at the end of the day, the wheel is not done. Virgos is going to continue to turn. You guys have a lot of prosperity, abundance, felicity coming towards you because what you guys put out into the world, it always finds its way back to you. Ace of Swords, expect communication coming in from this person. Also, Virgos, because you guys have the wheel of fortune here, that's good luck prosperity the wheel it's coming in for you guys you guys are the wheel no matter what you guys are the wheel i expect a message coming in from a taurus virgo capricorn here this person is going to want to speak to you they still have the connection between the two of you guys but you guys are going to have to go into isolation and hermit yourselves to figure out why what it is that you guys are genuinely going to need to do you guys have new beginnings new opportunities new victory that's going to be coming towards you guys as well virgos this is going to be a new energy whatever it is that you guys are whatever it is that you guys manifested on january 11th your manifestations are coming to fruition virgos the universe is coming in and handing it straight up to you guys because you guys did the work you guys you got whatever it is that you guys was you guys was desiring on january 11th that portal came in for you guys you see that wheel that's a portal virgos that wheel is your portal and you guys manifested something very very positive for your future so for that you guys are going to be getting it it's going to be coming in for you from the universe full blast ace of swords ace of wands new beginnings new opportunities new wealth new uh job offers new business offers for you guys virgos new love at the same time and you guys are really going to prosper in so many areas of your life thanks cuties bye